Welcome to Infinite Storm. In this video, we are going to see about raid and working simulations. Please do watch full video to understand the raid storage. Raid it is refers to a redundant array of independent disks. Raid storage uses multiple disks in order to provide false tolerance, to improve overall performance, and increase storage. The standard RAID levels comprise a basic set of RAID R. RAID 0 RAID 1 RAID 5 RAID 10 Configurations that employ the techniques of striping, mirroring, or parity. Here is the example, that your footage is converted from analog video signal to digital video signal by using video recorder. Where we know the computer language. One byte is equal to eight numbers of bits. We are not going to talk deeply about the storage calculation, whereas our team is working behind to publish in next video with real-time examples. RAID 0 simulation by the machine language, we have the 8 bit of data, which we are going to show how it is storing into RAID 0 level. To perform RAID 0, we would require two numbers of disk drives, showing here. The 8 bit of data is stored in the disk 1 and disk 2 alternatively. As you see the simulation, it stored the data by alternatively. RAID 0 provides improved performance and additional storage, but no redundancy or fault tolerance. A single disk failure destroys the entire array, because when the data written to a RAID 0 drive, the data is broken into fragments. If any one of the disk got failure, the designer please remember the data what's stored on the device is we cannot able to recover it. Read 1. By the machine language, we just have the 8 bit of data that we are going to see. How it is stored into RAID 1 level storage devices. A popular disk subsystem that increases safety by writing the same data on two drives. Called mirroring. However, if one drive fails, the second drive is used, and the failed drive manually replaced. We have primary disk and mirroring disk, whereas the data, replicated in the mirroring device. Whereas one drive fails, the second drive is used to recover the data. As we have primary disk 1, primary disk 2 and disk 3 for the parity match. The maximum number of drives in a RAID 5 set is in theory unlimited, although your storage array is likely to have built-in limits. However, RAID 5 only protects against a single drive failure. Parity Logic gate rules As we all remembered in our school days, we studied about the basic logic rules. Now, we are applying the same algorithm here, to set up the parity disk drive. Example, 0 and 1 is equal to 0. The right match for this set is 0 as per the logic rules. Just apply the same rules, to all the sets to get the parity values, as you can see the data stored in the disk 3. Disks configuration that uses disk striping with parity. Because data and parity are striped evenly across all of the disks. No single disk is a bottleneck. Striping also allows users to reconstruct data in case of a disk failure. That's it. 
This how the RAID 5 working. The recommended storage type is RAID 5. Anyhow, it depends on the requirements. Now, we are going to see the simulation showing how the data is lost and how it recovered by using the basic algorithms. See the example, the primary disk 2 got failure due to any reason. Now, by using the basic logic rules, the data will be recovered by the system using the algorithm. By this example you know, that we have primary disk data 1 and parity disk data 3. Just apply the logic algorithms to primary disk 1 and parity disk 3, whereas you will get the faulty disk data. 0, 0. The answer is 1. 0, 0. The answer is 1. 1, 0. The answer is 0. 1, 1. The answer is 1. Now we have the 4 bit of data, which is recovered by using the logic algorithms. Final step. Just write the both disk data alternatively to get the output. Now, just recheck and see. 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Wow, 1 and 1. This is what the data we lost it and we recover it. Whoa. Great. Nice job. RAID 10. RAID 1 plus 0 is a RAID configuration that combines disk mirroring, disk striping. It requires a minimum of 4 disks and stripes data across mirrored pairs. As long as one disk in each mirrored pair is functional, data can be retrieved. Thanks for your support gave on my previous video.